Whistler. It's the code name for the next generation of the Windows OS. Three dead trolls in a baggies, Westborg takes you behind the scenes for a sneak peek at the future of Windows. I'm currently sitting in the office of Whistler's product manager, Paul Mather. Paul, what's the number one difference between Whistler and today's version of Windows? Uh, well, uh, Wes, we here at Microsoft really looked at what people use their computers for, uh, at home or uh, in the office, and we've been working hard at improving that one key feature. And what key feature is that? Solitaire. Mm -hmm. uh, we found out people mostly use their computers for solitaire, so we've rewritten it from the ground up. Wow, I see. As well, you'll no longer have to play solitaire by yourself. We now have an exciting two-person version of solitaire. It's incredible. Fantastic. Uh, would you like to go down to our labs and see where our engineers are working on the next generation of Microsoft's products? Well, I'd be honored. Okay. You know, Wes, in the future, Windows will be able to control not only computers and laptops, but uh, television sets, parking meters, telephones, cars, bird cages, cheese graters, battleships, and pants. Pants? That's right, pants. Digital pants, or smarty pants, are a big part of our overall strategy. Huh. Okay, this is our programming department. Now, Paul, I have to ask mm -hmm. you... Who is that man sealed up in the glass box over there in the corner? <laughs> well, as you know, Wes, inside every computer is a little man who makes the computer work. Uh, so in order to program Windows to operate your computer, our programmers have to practice on a normal-sized man in a box and then, of course, shrink everything down. Of course. But why are your programmers poking him with sticks? Ah, well, it's their lunch hour. I see. And what about the Internet? Well, if you'll just step into this giant elevator, we'll head down to the Internet lab. Fantastic. Gee, how deep does this elevator go, Paul? Uh, down to the center of the Earth, Wes. Is that right? Yep. We're heading deep into the Earth's core where a race of mole people are working hard 24 hours a day uh, debugging the latest version of Internet Explorer. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're, uh, we're here. Uh, why don't we step out and have a look at Bill Gates' Mole Man Army? Okay, now the first thing I'm noticing here, Paul, is that they're all chained to their desks. Well, that's true, Wes, and I guess I'm going to have to come clean with you here and admit that the mole men are pretty much our slaves. Oh, I see. And as well, to be perfectly honest, we've lured you here to the center of the earth so as to force you to join our mole man army. Well, I don't want to join your mole man army. Resistance is futile, Wes. <laughs> Back off. I'm packing heat. Hey, that gun will do you no good, Wes. Don't force me to use my digital pants. I'm warning you. Back off. Digital pants. Activate! <laughs> <clears throat> okay, well, my digital pants have crashed. Uh, it looks like there's a IRQ conflict. You know, it's a, it's a beta garment. I guess you're vanquished. You know, Wes, all we here at Microsoft wanted was for people to like us, but <coughs> everyone's always mad at us. We're always in court. The mole men are all grumpy. Here, have a hanky. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all we ever wanted was love. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Uh, all Microsoft ever wanted was love. That and billions and billions of dollars. Yeah, that's good, too. Thanks for the tour, Paul. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Look, give me my hanky bag. It's mine now.